everybody and welcome. Today's project is going to be a quick release buckle collar. I am using a metal rose gold quick release buckle. Um, the, it is three fourths of an inch and I'm also using three fourths of an inch of an o-ring in also rose gold. Today's collar is going to be super bright. I'm going to be using multiple cords of the same color and Today's collar is actually kind of special because I'm going to be sending this to one of Watcher's siblings, which is really cool for me. Um, I've kept in touch with um, a few of Watcher's uh, siblings and their owners, and it's just been really nice. I was lucky enough that I went to a very reputable breeder here in Colorado to get Watcher, and has um, made it possible for me to be able to keep in contact with um, the owners of Watcher Siblings. So it's been really, really nice and I am going to be um, hopefully getting this done in the next couple of days so I can send it out. Uh, so for this collar, the colors that we're going to be using, first of all, all of the cord is 275. Um, I'm trying to make this a thin collar so uh, I'm going to be using all 275 cord. The colors that I'm going to be using are, I have this uh, rainbow right here that's hooked up to the double cow's hitch. If you're not familiar with how to do a double cow's hitch, I will leave a link below. I show you guys how to do it for a quick release buckle as well as for O-rings or the square rings um, for the adjustable collar. Um, one thing that I, I do want to remind you is that when you do your double cow's hitch, I do say this in the video, but please remember to put that O-ring on. It's, it's pretty important because you can't attach it once you start. So we have the double cow's hitch in rainbow. And I am also going to be using... two other strands in rainbow and then two white strands and like I said this is all 275 cord. So the first cord that I'm going to be adding is the white and I'm going to just loosen these two cows hitch up just a little bit and I'm using a pericord needle you don't have to if you don't have one you can melt the end of your cord to make a cap on it to push it through. Um, the needle does make it a little bit easier to push through. So I am going to go right in between these two cow's hitches. So I'm just going to go right right in between them and it looks like I have to loosen it up a little bit more. So you're going to go right in between the two cow's hitches just like that. You're going to pull it to the other side and to the middle of the cord. The next cord that I'm going to be adding is another rainbow cord and I want to do the same thing that I did with the white. I'm just going to go right through these two cow stitches and I'm going to pull it to the other side and also to the middle at the top. Alright, so the next cord that I'm going to be adding is another white cord. What I want to do here is I want to go in between this first cow's hitch that is on my right. I have two stitches that I want to go underneath and then I want to come up the second cow's hitch that is on the left. So I'm going to go in between the first cow's hitch underneath the two stitches to the left and come up that second cow's hitch on the left just like that. Pull this to the other side and to the middle. And for the final rainbow cord, you're going to do exactly what you just did with the white. You're going to go in between that first cow's hitch, right here, go underneath the two stitches to the left, and come up the second cow's hitch. So go in between the first, underneath the two, and then right up that second cow's hitch to the left. Pull that through, and you can pull that to the middle also. Okay, once you have your cords to the top, in the middle, you can tighten everything up 
please double check your measurements just in case um, because this is a quick release buckle collar if your measurements are off you're gonna have to uh, start all over again so you'll have to take it apart which honestly is not that much of a big deal but it's just disappointing when you get to the end and you found out that you um, measured the length um, incorrect so please double check your measurements triple check I, I always you know double check again um, you can roll up some of your ends now you can roll up your rainbow cord that you did the double cows hitch in and then the first the very first white cord that you put through you can roll that one up as well the other ones we have to uh, leave loose because we have to put them through the o-ring to secure the o-ring so because I work on an incline desk I kinda have to clip my o-ring to the top because it likes to slide on me and I don't know how well it's gonna hold because it's the smaller cord there we go all right so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put that o-ring to the top of your work so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be starting on our right side and we're gonna take um, the rainbow that you did the double cows hitch in so that's going to be my smaller bundle of rainbow and what we're going to do here is we're going to go underneath this first cord right up the middle and then over this second cord that is on the left the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your rainbow on um, the left side that's the smaller bundle and you're gonna go underneath the first cord that's now on your left right up the middle and then over that second cord the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your bundle of white now on the right side and what you're gonna do here is you want to go underneath your work so you're gonna go underneath and then you're going to come right up the middle and then you have this loop on your right side you're going to go down that loop you're going to grab your bundle uh, of white on your left side now and you're going to go underneath your work again you're going to come right up the middle And then you have your loop right here on your left side you're going to go down that loop okay so next I am going to take my clip off and I am going to take my other <laughs> other rainbow <laughs> okay so you have the rainbow that's on the top right here and then you have your white and then you have that other rainbow right there you, that's the rainbow that you're going to take so it's the third cord down so what we're going to do here is we are going to take this cord and we're going to push it through the o-ring so you're going to want to go through that o-ring and pull the cord through now you have two horizontal cords right here they're green here but they will change because it's the rainbow cord but they're the two horizontal cords that are going right over the middle you want to pull up on these two cords a little bit what you're going to do with that rainbow that you just pushed through the o-ring and you're going to go over these two horizontal cords around the bottom part of the o-ring you're going to come up the middle but you're going to be on the right side of 
the, your working cord. So this is my working cord right here. It's yellow right now. You're going to want to go on that right side of that. So take your cord, your rainbow that you just put through the o-ring, you're going to go around those two horizontal cords down the middle, go around the bottom part of that ring, and you're going to come up these two long cords, you're going to come up right through the middle, just like that. And now what you can do is just take your fingers and go on the right side of your working cord and just pull your cord through towards the right, and you can just pull it through. Now we're going to find that um, third cord down on your left side now. Try to get those out of the way. So then my third cord down, and it's the rainbow. I'm going to put this one through the O ring. Now I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the right cord. I'm just going to go out towards the left instead. So I'm going to go around those two horizontal cords, around the bottom part of the o-ring, come up through the middle, but I want to be on the left side of my working cord. So I'm going to go around those two horizontal cords, around the bottom part of the o-ring, push it up through the middle, then you can take your fingers and you can just grab it and pull it to the left of your working cord. And now I'm going to do the white on my right side. And I'm going to do the exact same thing that I just did on the right. I'm going to go through the o-ring and pull that through. I'm going to go around those two horizontal cords, around the bottom part of the ring, come up again to the middle, and be on the uh, right side of my working cord. So this one is a little bit easier because it's going to be white and you can, you know, see it and the color will never change. So go around those two horizontal um, cords. Go around the bottom part of the ring, go up through the middle, there's my white cord, and now I want to be on the right of that cord. Again, the same as you did on the left with the rainbow, you're going to go through the o-ring. And once you're done with the o-ring, Everything gets a lot, it will get a lot easier, I, I promise. Okay, once you're through that o-ring, you're going to go around those two horizontal pieces, and you're going to come up the middle. Just go around those two horizontal pieces, around the bottom part of the o-ring, come up through the middle. Here's my working cord. Now I want to be on the left of that cord and just pull it through. Alright, last one. So I'm going to take my rainbow on my right and I'm going to put it through the o ring. I'm going to go around those two horizontal cords, around the bottom part of the o-ring, and come up through the middle, and go to the left of my working, sorry, the right of my working cord. I'll pull that down a little bit. So go around, and come up. And then I'm going to go on the right side of my working cord. Do the, the same that you did on the left previously. Go through the O-ring.
go around those two horizontal cords and the O-ring. Go up through the middle. And then you want to be on the left side of your working cord. And pull it. So now you can tighten it up and I do suggest taking your time. Try to pull on the same cords. Okay, so I have my stuff tightened up and I rolled up everything. So for me, this is the way I did it. I have my cord that I will be working with first that is out of the rainbows. So this is the cord that I would grab first. Um, it's a smaller bundle. And then I have my white that I would grab next. And then I have those as also small bundles. Then the next cord that I have is going to be rainbow and that's going to be the medium sized bundle on both sides. And then I have a larger white bundle which would be the next cord up. And then I have the large in the um, rainbow. So it's going from small to large for me for my bundles and that's just going to help me um, figure out which one I need to grab at. So now that I got all of that taken care of I can start my next weave. And I'm going to start with a smaller bundle of rainbow on my right side and I'm going to go right underneath and up the middle and then over that second cord. I'm going to take my cord on my left that is the rainbow smaller bundle and I'm going to go underneath that cord that I just worked right up the middle and then over and I have a, like a little triangle here Next I am going to grab the white in the smaller bundle and I'm going to go underneath my work right up the middle and then down that loop on my right. Take my smaller bundle of white on my left side now. I'm going to go underneath right up the middle and down this loop. Now we don't have the ring to deal with anymore so what you're going to want to do is find those two horizontal pieces and it's still the green right here so I'm going to pick up on those a little bit and the next cord that I'm going to be grabbing is going to be the uh, rainbow um, medium sized bundle on my right and I'm just going to go over those two horizontal cords um, and out the uh, right side so I'm just going to go over and around those two horizontal cords and out the right side take your medium bundle of rainbow on your left and you're going to go over those two cords again and around and out your left side. So go over and around and out the left. Next I'm going to grab the larger bundle of white on my right side and I'm going to go over and around those two horizontal cords and go out the right side. So go over and around and out the right. I'm going to grab the larger bundle of white on my left side now and I'm going to go over and around and out the left. So over and around and out the left. 
And now for the larger bundle of rainbow on my right side. Again, you're going to go over and around and out the right. So over and around and out the right. And then we the one on the left. And you're going to go over and around and out the left. So over and around and out the left. And then you can tighten it up. Once you have it tightened up, we can start that weave all over again. So I'm going to grab the smaller bundle of rainbow. I'm going to go right up the middle and then over. I'm going to take the one on my left side now. And I'm going to go underneath the cord that I just worked, right up the middle again, and then over. Next, I'm going to take the smaller bundle of white. I'm going to go underneath my work, right up the middle, and then down that loop on my right. And then I'll take the one on my left, and I'm going to go underneath my work, right up the middle, and down that loop on my left. Now I'm going to find those two horizontal cords and it's still green but um, it will change so just when you are pulling up on those two horizontal cords you want that to be the rainbow cord. So um, I'm going to pull up on those two. I'm going to grab my medium sized bundle of rainbow and I'm going to go over and around and out the right. So go over and around and out the right. Take the cord now on the left which is the medium rainbow. You're going to go over those cords again, around and out the left, over and around and out the left. Take the larger white bundle now on the right side, go over and around and out the right. Take the one on the left, go over and around and out the left. Next, take your larger bundle of rainbow, take the one on the right, go over those two horizontal cords again, around and out the right side. Take the one on the left now, and you can go over those horizontal cords, around and out to the left, and then tighten it up. This is what it's starting to look like. I went down a couple of more weaves so you had a bigger section to look at. And you can see that it is very bright and um, I am going to continue this pattern all the way down the collar until I get to the end and then I will show you guys how I do the tie off and what it looks like when it is completely done. Okay, so I finished my collar and I have it off the jig and now I'm going to weave in my ends. The cords that I will not be weaving in are the ones that are directly coming out of the side of the collar, but all the ones that are coming out of the top we're going to be weaving from the back, sorry, from the front of the collar to the back of the collar. And I'm going to start with my rainbow that is all the way to my right and I will be using a pericord needle you have a gap between your work and your two cows hitches you're gonna put your cord through that gap Just like that. And I will do also the white that is next to it and I will do on the other side the rainbow that is all the way to the left and I'll do the same with that white as well. These two rainbow that are directly in the middle I will be doing a different way. Okay, so I have all those cords through and now I'm going to put my first rainbow that is all the way to my right 
through this little hole. So you have a small uh, hole between your two cow's hitches. You're going to go in that hole and that's where you're going to put both of the rainbows that are directly in the middle. So here I have the one going through right between the two cow's hitches. I'm actually not going to use my pericord needle because it's too tight and it won't fit. So I'm going to stick the other rainbow through that same hole. And I did burn the ends a little bit to uh, make a harder cap on it so I can push it through. There we go. And now you can just tighten all of these up. So how I'm going to cut and burn or melt the ends, I'm going to start off on my side and I'm going to cut about a quarter of the way up, maybe a little bit longer. And I'm going to fray out these edges the best I can because it's kind of small. I'm going to melt one at a time and then squish it down with my butter knife. So I'm going to do one at a time. So I'm going to do this bottom one first, which is the white. And be careful because with the smaller cord, it does melt a lot faster. Squish that down. Now I'm going to do the top one, the rainbow. Try not to let it catch on fire. I mean, it does happen. So just be careful. So I have this end done, and I'm going to do the same on the opposite end. Once you have your two sides done, you can start with the middle cords. Make sure that you have them pulled all the way through and nice and tight. And what we can do is I'm going to start on my right and I will cut and burn um, the cord that is all the way to the right, which is my rainbow cord. And I'm going to cut it almost the same length, maybe just a tad longer. I'm going to fray it out. Maybe. There we go. I'm going to burn that and I'm going to squish that down as well. So I want to burn it away because these might get too hot and they might burn a little bit and melt together. Then I will do the white next, which is right next to it. I'm going to do it the same way. Oh man, that was bad. So I have those two done. Now I'm going to keep going and I'm going to go do the white and then the, the rainbow next to it. Just like I did the, the white and the green. And then I will take the two that are on the top and I will do those last. And I will cut and burn all of it the same. When you get to these two top ones, just make sure that you got them pulled all the way before you cut and burn them. So once you have your ends all secure, if you would like, you can use your collar the way it is. A lot of people just melt those ends and they start to use it. I am going to put a little bit of Gorilla Glue 
on this side where I melted everything and that is just because I just want it it's just a little bit of an extra security to make sure that everything stays where I put it. Um, I use clear non-foaming Gorilla Glue and I just put a little bit on the ends that I melted and then I rub it around so I can get those side ones good. I'll let that dry now and once it's dry I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's completely done.